You're all set for your afternoon tea. Yeah, it looks exciting. <laughs> oh! We recommend the three types of the tea pair with the fork. It's got some white chocolate, some lemon curd, I think, and some sponge at the bottom. That's the clotted cream, and the mixed berry relish for them on the side. You can spread some elderflower syrup. This is amazing, you know, this greenery in the middle. I want to come to this park as well as I want to see Hyde Park. I've lost Sri somewhere in the crowd. Just gonna hang around here and wait till she finds me or till I find her. So the hotel has two parts. One is the hotel and then you have the apartments, the service apartments. After that walk to Buckingham Palace, the plan is to do some tea, some afternoon tea, which is a quintessential English thing. Welcome. Thank you. So welcome to Connor Restaurant. So as you know, this afternoon tea secret garden based on the book Secret Garden One, which is about the life of the little Marie who moved from India to live in UK with her uncle. Oh. In a very beautiful large house in a bull space, and all this stuff we saw from that book. Oh, okay. So, if you don't mind to open your menus, so basically you need... <laughs> oh! We recommend you three types of the tea spare with the food. I suggest to start with the Lady Lavender first, if you'd like. The Lavender tea. Spare with the uh, savouries in the, in the beginning. Then, if you'd like to swap to another kind of the tea, okay. which are mostly paired with desserts and the scones. All right. Would you like to get this way too? Yeah, sure. Yes. I will leave it to you. Enjoy your afternoon. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. My pleasure. Sir. Thank you, Iskra. You're all set for your afternoon tea. Yeah, it looks exciting. It's very nice. Roll gin and tonic, sir. Cocktail. All right, thank My you. My pleasure. Enjoy. Do people usually combine the tea and the gin and tonic? Yes. Yeah. Usually they do. They would like to try all that experience ah. with the floral taste. Yes. Something new. Something uh, new. We are starting from decoration, crockery. You can see decoration from outside. As yes. Well. Yes. To our lovely tables here, and yeah. at last with the lovely food as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. the key all right to unlock the boxes okay to unlock the gate basically and to go ahead for your journey that represents the beginning of the story of the chapter of the book basically when marie was looking for a key to unlock the gate to go through the garden to have a look what is inside she was very curious basically so we have to look for the key first yes. Well, there's a lot happening here, but begin with some lavender tea. How's the tea? Very nice. Mm. Cookie crumble. Mm. Yeah. yeah the some mint with that. Mm. Some chocolate, some cookie crumble. Oh, there's another key in that. Yeah, sweet. The chocolate edible. key. It's edible. I saw a poster in the elevator which spoke about a secret garden afternoon tea. So we thought we'll give it a shot. Very unique experience, I must say. 
So the afternoon teas are very traditional. So, mm, I think all the good restaurants or there are places that specialize in afternoon teas. And so even the Taj here has a very quaint, very pretty looking restaurant called Kona. I don't know if it's derived from the Hindi word which means corner. I'm not sure. Mm. The tea is nice and light. And the lady said that I should also try the, the rose gin and tonic. Very pretty looking with the flowers. Give you this plate with the salmon only. Thank you very much. There's a salmon and avocado. the smoked salmon sliced avocado sir, sandwich, you're having the herb chicken finger sandwiches and the beetroot cucumber ones. Then for the desserts you have the chocolate mousse in chocolate pots, uh, always edible, which are decorated with white chocolate flowers on the top. And then you've got the basil cheese tart, you have the raw raspberry ganaches and the mango lychee lime cakes, which are decorated with lovely butterflies. It's a strange combination following up the lavender tea with some gin and tonic. This is a chicken sandwich. Mm. Of course, we are joined by our daughter Sunana, but she prefers to be off camera. So, yes, Sunana? Yes. And prefers not to be heard as well. <laughs> now for some egg pinwheel. The avocado for you two ladies and another small salmon for you. Enjoy it. The quail egg atop this pinwheel, egg pinwheel sandwich. Mm. My pick between the sandwiches so far is definitely the avocado and the smoked salmon. I think that combination. It's quite nice. Mm. We'll go for the beetroot. The beetroot has a nice crunch. Is there some cucumber here as well? Cucumber also. Mm. Very refreshing. And this also has a bit of a rose. Flavor, very nice. So you got the combination of the botanicals and the gin, and and then the rose. Mm. It's delicious. It's got some white chocolate, some lemon curd, I think, and some sponge at the bottom. This is. Very fragile. The sort of dessert that you can't hold without it threatening to break in your fingers. Mm. There's something that tastes like strawberry. But very mild, very nice, very delicate. Well, after the sandwiches, there seems to be a surfeit of the sweet pastries. It certainly looks enticing with the gold leaf on it. And also, I think, flecks of uh, gulab, of rose. Mm. I think there's some pistachio in this. But of course, I'm getting into that zone where uh, there's a bit of an overload of the sweetness. I think that's where the next tea that's going to come in, which I'm told is a chamomile. is a chamomile blend of sorts. It will come in handy to cut some of that sweetness from that pastry. There's some orange as well in this. And with a short crust, pastry is the base. The lavender honey. It's uh, coming from uh, lavender plantation. Ah, okay. It's a very special preparation. That's the clotted cream and the mixed berry relish for them on the side. You can spread some elderflower syrup.
Yes. 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 You can you can taste yes the kama now inside yes right this is the dosi girl this is the dosi girl yes so we have one more tea remaining yes all right thank okay. you and that finishes things right yes okay <laughs> thank you. some scones sunana you have to have a scone you cannot do a high tea without a scone some clotted cream I think after all the sandwiches and the sweets the cream is certainly a bit of indulgence but when in rome do as the romans do and some of the preserves The scones are a bit dense, but the clotted cream is very light, very airy. You can certainly taste the chamomile in the tea, and in a manner of speaking, it also acts as a nice antidote to the decadence of the scone with the cream and the preserve. Summer of love is a green tea, ma'am. It's a very light and tasteful green tea. This is for you, sir. Thank you very much. I think that's just the way to close our rather indulgent high tea here at Kona at the Taj, Saint James Court, Buckingham Gate. I think the atmosphere itself lends to birthdays, and also you get a bunch of things. Yeah, so it's very festive. I mean, well, that was a delicious way to spend an afternoon. The Secret Garden high tea here at the Taj. But the one thing is that when you have so many of these little nibbles, one by one, one by one, you don't realize the fact that you are quite literally feasting on a lot. And I'm told that this is also a meal replacement. So they do three sittings here. They do one at 12, one at 2, and another one at 4 o'clock. So typically, those who come for the 12 noon uh, high tea, they don't do breakfast. And I suppose the ones who come in a little later skip lunch or dinner. Of course, uh, here in London, it's all about the afternoon tea, and uh, that's quite the tradition. But uh, this one was different, and I think what also made it very special was the fact that our server Iskra uh, guided us through the high tea really well, through the savouries, through the sandwiches, through the desserts, uh, through the various teas that we tasted, and also that uh, very refreshing rose gin and tonic. So if you're looking to do the afternoon tea in London, which you must because that's a tradition here, and want to do something different, definitely check out the Secret Garden afternoon tea here at Kona at the Taj. This is an uttapam that I remember from Bombay. Kingdom King Queen. Shri is watching the crowds here and wondering if the king is going to make a. presence appearance to meet shri 